Welcome back to Rob Awesome VR. Uh, continuing our series on setting up the PP Gun Mini and the PP Gun with the HTC Vive. Um, so at this point, you need to download the uh, VR input emulator and install it, ensuring that when you do install, uh, Steam VR is not running. Uh, after it's installed, you can fire up Steam VR, and you'll see your new options located uh, in here. Uh, you have your devices listed across the top. Uh, HMD, of course, is your head-mounted display. You do not want to adjust that. Uh, you'll see your other controllers listed. Um, a actual controller will vibrate. We'll have some, uh, some feedback um, so you can um, identify that. There is no vibration there, so that must be my uh, tracker. Ah, there we go. So on D44, um, I'm getting some feedback uh, on the controller. So that's my actual controller, which would make the C8A uh, is my tracker that's um, configured as a controller. So we're going to select the, uh, the tracker uh, currently. Um, and what you want to do is set the offsets to place the tracker head as close as you can uh, to where the head would be on the actual controller. Um, so you do this by uh, device offsets. Um, the driver from head offsets are the only things that I've messed with. Uh, and so you've got your uh, yaw, pitch, your roll, your x, y, and z axis um, that you can uh, change to get that um, tracker as close to as you can to where the controller would be. Um, so you enable these and then you would make these adjustments uh, to get it as in the correct position. Uh, once you're done, you get your offset set correctly, uh, then you would create a new profile uh, and then you would save that profile. Now I have several profiles created already. Um, I've got the tracker configured. Um, so we are going to select PPG Mini 3, uh, and if you watch the tracker here when I apply that, see, now it's online with where a controller would be. All right, I also have, uh, let me show you the settings for that. Um, so these are the settings for the PP Gun Mini. Um, I've only met with, messed with the pitch, the roll, the Y and Z axis, I didn't need to match with the R, the X axis. Um, and then let me show you the um, profile for the full-size PP gun, the rifle. Um, there we go. So we've, uh, again, the pitch uh, the Y and Z axis, I didn't even mess with roll on the uh, full-size PP gun. Um, and those settings for me, with the way I mounted the uh, trackers on the PP gun mini and PP gun, uh, line up really well. Um, I get a really good feeling, good connection uh, between the weapon uh, and the game. Um, and so there's one other thing I would like to show you. Um, some games are ambidextrous. The left and the right don't matter. Serious Sam 3, uh, VR doesn't really make any difference. But uh, games like John Wick Chronicles, um, there's a distinct left and right hand. Um, so in that case, uh, the uh, VR input emulator has a swap with. So you can actually swap. Um, with another device. Oop. <laughs> See what happened there. That uh, that probably that didn't work too well because it applied the um, the offsets to the regular uh, controller. So um, if you have any questions, you can uh, put them down in the comments. Um, and uh, thank you much.